Hello, this is Robert McKim, founder and president of the Community Awareness and Emergency Response Security Radio Patrol, nonprofit organization. Also, as many of you know, I'm also an ordained minister, evangelist. I have a ministry, and I'm not a liar, I'm not a cheater. But there are businesses out there that are cheating people left and right. They're cheating clients who have insurance advantage cards, like this one here. We have Anthem Blue Cross Blue Shield. We have this advantage card that we're supposed to be able to get up to $150 each on these cards plus extra benefits help to pay um, over-the-counter items as well um, I'm not going into too much detail but because uh, those all things you people don't need to know but what happened was on Wednesday there was a glitch in the computer system we went to Walmart to get some food and Every time I scanned that card, it just came up on their computers, computers that they have for registers. Uh, basically, that the um, it wasn't declined because there was enough money in the, on that card. There was over sixty dollars in that on that card. It just kept saying transaction failed. Transaction failed. And I wasn't the only victim. There was another elderly gentleman in, uh, was in uh, one of those Walmart uh, motorized carts. He was already at the um, courtesy desk at Walmart calling Nation's Benefits to see what's going on. And they just said, it just started happening. It, th there was a, th the card's not working. I uh, said, heck with it, I'm going to use my EBT food stamp card and my, um, I had to use my debit card for my, from my checking account as well for another item that the, the nation's benefits card would have paid for. Then I went out to the store, and when I was, went out, went out to the vehicle and made some phone calls to Nation's Benefits and to Anthem Blue Cross Blue Shield complaining about what happened. And when we got home, we checked uh, the account, the Nation's Benefits account, and lo and behold, Walmart was taking the money out, $37.82 out of the Nation's Benefits card. It was impending for 24 hours now it was approved which means Walmart got money from Nation's Benefits and my EBT food stamp card and my checking account they got they got payment three ways for the food that should only be paid for from one card one one thing one way the nation's benefits but no because of a stupid glitch some actor calling nation's benefits yesterday they said they had an update in their system and it messed up the computer system well you know what that's on nation's benefits with that stupid update that mess this happened back in June as well but but in June I used my EBT food stamp card and nothing was taken out of the nation's benefits. This time, Walmart got nation's benefits money and my money and EBT. I went today to Walmart because this is what, I want you to listen here, this is what I, the manager said this morning when I called. Um, I have a problem here, and I was told to talk to Walmart, 
well, I was there Wednesday, uh, around about 4 o'clock. I have, you know, the advantage card with my insur for my insurance, through my insurance, Nations Benefits Advantage card for, you know, food and over-the-counter stuff. And, well, it stopped working, not just for me, but other people as well. There was an issue with uh, between Nation Benefits and Walmart where it wasn't working at all. But it was, since it wasn't working at your registers, I mean, it was just coming up saying transaction failed. It wasn't because there wasn't no money on the card. It was because there was a glitch in the computer system. And because of this glitch, I used my EBT food stamp card to pay for the food and my, my debit card to pay for the uh, other item. That the nation's benefits card would have paid for so I could get out of the store and, and well, make some phone calls uh, to nation's benefits because then they were saying, yeah, we're aware of the, it's just, you know, something going on between nation's benefits and Walmart. Then we uh, looked at our uh, uh, the account, not nation's benefits, and would you believe, even though the register uh, said transaction failed, it was put into pending at Nation's Benefits for $37.82. And then, um, of course, after uh, basically 24 hours, then it was approved. So Walmart took the money out of the Nation's Benefits card, plus took money from my EBT food stamp card and my ticket account. So you guys double dipped. You got double the amount, you got double the payments. Okay, you're gonna have to get a copy from the health card, like some kind of statement telling that it was charged, and then bring that in for them to do a refund. Okay, because I would. I was wondering if you guys would do that because I know this card situation is a, a joke anymore. But yeah, um, I do have this statement, so I'll I'll bring that in. Uh, yeah, as long as you have a statement from the health card showing that it was taken out and not pending. Yeah, it was been pending for like 24 hours. Then uh, then it was uh, then up, says approved, which means that was taken out. And then you still have your receipt? Yeah, I still got my receipt for when I, where I paid uh, with my EPT food stamp and my debit card. Okay, you'll just have to bring that in, too. Okay. And just saying it's a customer service and they'll have to look at it. Okay. Okay, okay thanks. Uh -huh. Bye. Well, as you heard, that was a manager that I talked to around 7 o'clock this morning at Walmart. In New Philadelphia, Ohio. Store number 2115. Now, after I go down there, because she said that they would, they would, uh, you know, try and make it right. This is what this manager here said to me. They told me to come here to Walmart and get my money back. Okay. So the reason we can't take, we can't put money back on that. It won't allow us. So what you have to do is call them and have them dispute that transaction. Well, see, they that. <laughs> but Nations Benefits keeps saying because Walmart took the money. Walmart is the one that has to refund the money. Not Nations Benefits. Walmart has to refund the money. Nation's Benefits won't, and now Walmart is refusing. Even after that uh, store manager this morning said that they would, you know, try and make it right. Walmart people are a bunch of stupid liars. They will steal your money and not give it back. 
Wake up before it's too late, people. Wake up and realize what Walmart is really doing to you. Walmart is acting like, like a king over you and what you're buying. And you're the jester. You're the court jester. Because basically, you're a joke to Walmart. Think about it. You know I'm right.